Not done here. Not done. Come a little closer. Share my air. You don't seem so scared. War! Let's play. Good morning, sunshine. You look not great. Not great at all, actually. What's up? Nothing. I just... I just had a weird dream about the man in the suit again. From the test with SCP-1602 last week? Yeah. I wonder why. I mean, I guess he's supposed to be my biggest fear or something, but how can that be if I don't even know who he is? Beats me. Maybe you should go back to SCP-1602 and play with him again to find out. <laughs> I'm sure he'll answer your questions this time. Like hell, I'm going back in there. I was lucky enough to make it out alive the first time. I'm not trying my luck with that shit show again anytime soon. <laughs> you sure? You don't want to have another rendezvous with your dreamy shower pal? I told you, he wasn't in the shower with me for God's sake. Why do I bother telling you anything? Because I'm the only one that cares enough to listen instead of finding excuses to beat you with my nightstick. Fair point. As a matter of fact, we got places to go. Let's get a move on before you give me that excuse I was looking for. Have fun at testing today, little man. I'll be back to come get you at the end of the day. That's quite enough, Mr. Wilson. You can cut up on your own time. Quit fraternizing with the D-Class. Of course, sir. Sorry, sir. Today, D-9085, we will be conducting three experiments testing the efficacy of the pill in front of you. A clone. Of SCP-500. SCP-500? And that would be... A miracle drug. One that cures all ailments. Doubt it can cure being such a dick. If successfully reproduced, the benefit to mankind could be unparalleled. However, only a small store has been found. We have no idea how it was made or who made it, and attempts to replicate it have been... relatively unsuccessful. Except for one method. Cloning by use of another SCP has proven somewhat effective, though replicated instances of SCP-500 tend to have a markedly lower rate of effectiveness. How much lower? Thus far, only a 30% success rate, which is why additional experimentation is required. Makes sense. Just one problem, Doc. I'm fit as a fiddle. There's nothing to cure. Remember your initial phlebotomy labs we drew soon after you entered our custody? Sure. You all drew a lot of blood. I almost passed out, actually. We also injected mycobacterium tuberculosis into your bloodstream for this exact test. Chest x-rays at your most recent appointment have shown it has taken hold. You inject me with myco- but What's wrong with you people? I have TB? Hopefully only until you take that pill. Congratulations. Blood results just came back and you're cured of TB. It's your lucky day. My lucky day? Screw you!
Like hell that's gonna happen. How about telling me what's in here first? It's none of your concern, D9085. Ingest the contents of the vial now. None of my concern? I damn well think this is of my concern. Why in God's name would I mess with anything around here not knowing what I'm getting myself into? Let alone ingest some weird green liquid. This could kill me for all I know. What you do know is that you will be terminated promptly at my command if you fail to comply with our orders. That vial is your only chance for survival at this crossroads. And I suggest you take the gamble. Well, when you put it like that... Say la vie. So, now what? D-9085, you have just been infected with a sample of SCP-008, isolated at our Sister G2 Foundation site. You have been enrolled in a limited testing protocol examining the effects of this complex prion on host anatomical structure and physiological function. You will be monitored for the next several hours, allowing the virus to nearly reach its peak state of activity in your host body, at which time we will administer a potential antidote. Please stand by for observation. No. No. No, wait, wait, wait. Stand by my ass. Give me some answers here. What exactly do you infect me with? What does this virus do? Hey. Hello? What am I in for here exactly? Okay. Keep it together, Omar. Whatever you just drank, I'm sure you've been through worse before. You made it through then and you'll make it through now. And hey, viruses aren't perfect. I must have a pretty good immune system. I don't recall even catching a cold in this place. I'm sure this virus won't even take hold and I'll be out of here in no time. Doctor's Note. Experimentation Log SCP-008 SCP-008 once again proves its infection rate of 100% taking hold of another host within the three-hour time window of initial exposure. D-9085 began showing feverish symptoms within the first hour, sweating profusely and complaining of the temperature in the containment chamber. Hey, can we cool it off in here or something? Testing chamber includes an isolated air circulation system for ventilation. While the virus is not known to be airborne, one can never be too careful. For God's sake, cool it off in here. Feels like a damn oven. Request denied. As fever rose and D9085's discomfort increased, he continued scratching areas along his arms and face, presumably precipitating the emergence of patches of rapid cellular degeneration and necrosis. Subject continued to progress as expected, experiencing initial symptoms of dementia after five hours post-exposure, increasing in severity from this point. As the confusion continued to rise, Subject became disoriented and restless, pacing the confines of his containment chamber. Subject continued pacing and moving for the remainder of the test, tirelessly, likely due to the increased oxygen storage capacity of red blood cells and altered rate of metabolism as observed in previous test subjects. By 12 hours post-exposure, Subject's behavioral patterns and motor controls were all noticeably and significantly damaged. Potential antidote was provided prior to complete mental degeneration. D9085, how are you feeling? D9085, can you understand me? On the bottom of the test tube rack, you will find an additional duplicated instance of SCP-500. SCP-500 has proven to be a complete antidote for SCP-008 in previous testing. However, we have not yet tested the efficacy of duplicated SCP-500 using SCP-038 yet. If you understand, please take the pill. Ah! <sighs>
Keep him under observation. If he hasn't recovered in a few hours, send the cleanup crew, terminate him, and eliminate all biohazards. <sighs> Look who's finally awake. Did... Did that actually just happen? Oh, yeah. It happened. I don't know what they were testing on you. That's on a need to know basis, apparently. But you looked horrible, man. Like, worse than dead awful. Good thing the SCP-500 knockoff did the trick for you. How long have I been out for? Almost two days now. You've been really struggling to hold on, man. It was the weirdest thing. <laughs> they were gonna have us put you down after a while longer. Then all of a sudden you started improving. Like some kind of delayed reaction with the pill or something. How long did it take for me to start looking better? About five or six hours after you took the pill. It's never taken SCP-500 that long to kick in before. Even the knockoff one, or so I've heard. It just figured the pill you took was a dud. Until it worked, that is. Doc was super confused, man. <laughs> it was pretty funny. So spill the beans. What'd they test on you? It was pretty awful. They... Actually, I don't remember what they were testing on me exactly. I remember drinking something, and the things got really bad. I remember feeling awful, but I don't remember exactly what happened. Ah, they hit you with the amnestics. Figured they would with something that top secret. Amnestics? Oh yeah, man. Basically drugs to make you forget. All the rage with the foundation. Have to keep a lot of this supernatural shit on lock to keep the match from going into a frenzy. I guess whatever they were tested was too top secret to let you remember the detail. I can't see him surprised, but I didn't know the Foundation could wipe people's memories like that. Well, I suppose any D-Class that have had some exposed to the drug don't remember the tale to tell. <laughs> <clears throat> By the way, thanks for telling me you had TB, asshole. I almost had to get an SCP-500 knockoff dose myself when I found out you had it. How could I tell you if I didn't know? Blame the Foundation. Well, anyway, glad to see you're doing okay, man. Things won't be the same at this site without you. Thanks, man. Oh. I almost forgot. Looks like you finally got your reward from the big shots upstairs for your work on this one. Take no more than two? Why would they leave me a whole bowl of candy with a note like that? No idea, man. Eat as many as you want. You've earned it. Omar, Omar. Hey, sis. <gasps> what the hell's going on? What happened to me? Oh, thank God you're awake. You lost a lot of blood. What happened to me? Oh, right. So, the bowl of candy? SCP-330. Turns out you were still in testing. My bad, dude. Testing for what? They wanted to see if SCP-500 would cure the effects of SCP-330. Not even the knockoff 500, but the real deal. Spoiler alert, it didn't work. I thought they said it could cure any disease. I guess losing your hands doesn't count as a disease. You took a candy as well. Why didn't this happen to you? I only took one. I followed the note, dude. You told me to ignore the note. They told me to tell you to ignore the note. I thought it only applied to me. My bad. My bad? My bad? That's all you have to say? So that's it? I just don't have hands anymore? Oh no, not at all. That's good news. I wasted a D-class yesterday and apparently he has similar build as you or something. They're gonna take his hand and see if SCP-212 will fix you. SCP-212? Yeah, 
surgery robot. Three big robot arms, fixes people. It'll be great. You'll be as good as new. Has it ever operated on someone's hands before? Sure. Once, a while back. I checked the surgery log, cut off one of the guy's hands and replaced them with um, metallic tentacles. Well, you're going to be just fine. Trust me. I've heard it's excruciatingly painful, but you'll come out on the other end as good as new. Now get some sleep. You're going to surgery in the morning. Did he say metallic tentacles? Play it back one more time. You must be mistaken, sir. It's just not possible. Play the footage back from 11 hours 42 minutes and compare it with the shot just before delivery of the replicated SCP-500 instance. It just can't be. Sir, what does this mean? It means we need to keep an eye on D-9085. Place him in lower risk testing for the time being. We need to review these tapes more, frame by frame, carefully. If what just happened is true, we'll put in another request for an SCP-008 sample. We're going to need one more experiment. <laughs> 